Hi there, Robert Smitty Smith here again, and here on this bench top, I've put out some of my personal uh, books from my personal library, and to show you what you might find useful to have on hand. First and foremost, for every Ricky Racer and FSA team out there, you need the number one book is the rule book. Now this isn't FSA, this is the Southern California Timing Association. But for whatever sanctioning organization you're under, get the rule book. It's the single most important book that you'll ever deal with. It's your friend, not your enemy. The second most important book is, guess what? The service manual for the power plant. Here, we had to print it out. Loose leaf. Try to find the front page, but this is for the Yamaha FC6 engine. See if I can find the first page. If you have to print it out at the copy center, print it out at the copy center. You need to know how to maintain and operate your vehicle. So logbook, service manual, and thirdly, Vehicle logbook. Once the vehicle is completed, this will help you everything that's spent or every modification or adjustment done to the vehicle should be recorded. If you do that, then others can come along behind you properly. But that's for a completed vehicle. For you new Ricky racers out there, and especially when you're trying to design a car, of all the books on race car chassis, race car engineering and mechanics, blah, 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 like that, I think this is the one I like best for beginners by Herb Adams. Next, I like Paul Van Valkenburg's book almost as well. Have wonderful drawings, illustrations, formulas that are simple, explanations that are easy to understand. They go into good detail and they will really give you a leg up. Now, there, not to say these are the only two books out there. This is a recent book that I acquired, The Race Car Chassis by Forbes Ard. I find a lot of good books from England. This one is from England, and for FSAE teams in England, they have hill climb cars which are virtually identical to an FSAE car. There's wonderful material in here on building a car all the way from start to finish, and there's a wonderful chapter on modifying the sump of a 600cc inline four motorcycle engine for hard cornering. The $50 price of the books, it's worth that just for that one chapter. Now, on the more analytical side, when you get to st thinking about modifying engines, this is, the, this is the Wellspring by Philip H. Smith. Scientific design of intake and exhaust systems. It's really old school. This is how all the wave resonance stuff was figured out. A more modern book by Professor Hayward at MIT. A friend of mine sent, at MIT sent me this, Internal Combustion Engine Fundamentals. Very, very good book. Very much on the analytical side. Gives you all the numbers. It's great for understanding the theory. It isn't worth five cents for actually building a car, but this will actually get you a thorough engineering understanding and the math involved in doing things. Now, these paperback books here, these are for aimed at more for Ricky Racers, and they're very valuable. Why? Because these people actually that write these books have actually done the modifications on an ongoing basis, and it's all about the nuts and bolts of doing this stuff. Okay, now, FSAE. Carol Smith's books. I have all of them but one. Most of these are no longer in print. If you want them, you're going to have to get them off Amazon in the used book section or used book stores or from FSA teams. Drive to win, prepare to win, tune to win, engineer to win, uh, nuts, bolts, fasteners, and plumbing. They're excellent information in these books. If there's a problem, is that the excellent information is about 10% of all of this material. If you want to, if you can get these books and go through all this, you'll know it and understand it. 
It's good, but the whole reason I'm doing this is sort of an overview to get you started without having to spend so much time doing this. Now, I'm about to finish up. Here's some other things here. This is the FSA, F, FAA Advisory Circular 4313. If you want to know about tubing structures and how to repair them, that's the Bible. Everyone defers to the aircraft methods. Uh, specialty stuff, you want to learn about sand casting apart? Well, buy a book on sand casting. Here's probably the best periodical out there, Race Car Engineering. It's published in England. It's very good. Catalogs can be your friend. Burn stainless. You don't have access to Ricardo Wave to figure your resonance tuning. Call these guys up. They give you a sheet. You can fill out your information. They, their computer will figure it out for you. There's lots of books out there such as this one, Anatomy and Development of the IndyCar. Absolutely worthless. Not anything in there. It's for the casual reader. Knows nothing. Wants to know less. Okay. Now, to the last category. Driving. Going Faster by Skip Barber, Racing School, very, very good. Bob Bondurant's Kart Racing, very, very good. Secrets of Solo Racing, excellent for what, but here's the thing about driving books. I've never seen anyone that's been able to play the piano from reading a book. Yes, you can get some temps. Yes, you can learn some basic principles. But nothing, nothing, nothing will substitute for going to an actual autocross over and over again. Books are okay to get started, but you've got to go drive the car in an autocross. That single thing will do more to improve your drivers than anything else, period. And that's sort of it for the books you might like to have around for doing these Ricky Racer projects and FSA.